There's a lot of terminology associated with the GDT language, and being proficient in the understanding of these technical terms is critical to the understanding of GDT concepts. Let's start by introducing the concepts of maximum material condition, referred to as MMC, and least material condition, referred to as LMC. An easy way to think about this concept is by considering how part size determines how much physical material will be used to create the part. For example, when comparing these two objects, we understand that the larger object requires more material to produce. Let's explore this idea further with a shop drawing example. Here we have three standard orthographic views of a simple part showing front, top, and right side projections. This dimension is used to define the feature that exists between two surfaces. We refer to this as a feature of size. The feature of size dimension is 0.5 with a tolerance of plus or minus 0.02 which means that the part can measure anywhere between 0.48 and 0.52. So we can say that the lower size limit for this feature is 0.48 and the upper size limit for this feature is 0.52. If we were going to produce this feature on the part, which of these sizes would require the use of more material to produce? Naturally, the larger size for this feature will require the most material. Therefore, if the part is produced to a size of 0.52, we refer to this as maximum material condition or MMC. What if this same feature was produced at the lowest size limit possible? If the part was created with this feature measuring at 0.48, we would refer to this as least material condition or LMC. Another term that is important to familiarize yourself with is external feature of size. Notice how the two surfaces used to define this feature are outside surfaces of the part. Therefore, we refer to this particular feature as an external feature of size.